Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll create and set up a basic PyCode bot uh, and this will be a whole new series in the PyCode tutorial series where we'll create a full Discord bot using PyCode from start to end including all features it will have. Moderation, fun command, uh, utilities, even music maybe. Including also how to advertise your bot and monetize it and make money out of it too. So let's get started right away. So I've created a folder here, uh, I named it PyCore Tutorial, but you can name it whatever you want. And uh, <coughs> in here we're going to create a file. So I've opened it in uh, Visual Studio Code by going to File, Open Folder and just choosing it. So here we want to create a main.py file and also a requirements.txt. So in this requirements.txt we'll uh, <coughs> we're going to put everything we'll need for this to work properly all the packages and it will automatically install them uh, when we run a certain command so uh, one second in here you'll want to put pi chord dev and also python dot end <coughs> so this will install pycode dev which is the current version of pycode the latest one and also python dot end where we will uh, as we will put our token for the bot in a dot end file so it won't get leaked and everything <coughs> so well here in the main dot py file we want to do the basic setup for the bot. We want to import a package, Discord. We want to also have a thank you, random. You can also go with time. We'll also need AOHTTP, which will get installed with PyCord. We'll also need OS. Uh, that's uh, we'll also make a bridge bot for this so we'll do from discord.ext import bridge because otherwise it won't work and also from dot env import load dot env which is a function we're importing from the python dot env library so after here we want to call this load dot env function it loads all the dot env uh, files uh, and it loads the content all the variables <coughs> <coughs> now we want to define the bot so we'll do class and we'll name it i called bot you can name it whatever you want but i'll name it this and this will be a bridge dot bot in this class you want to define the token token equals os dot get env discord token because we'll name the variable discord token intents will be discord dot intents dot all and will the help command will just ignore that for now so that class is done now we do now we'll define the client itself it will be of class I called bot intents equals I called bot dot intents and we'll also uh, will also define a command prefix which for now we'll keep as an exclamation mark but we'll do dynamic prefixes later on now we'll want to create an event we'll do client dot listen for this because you'll you never want to use client dot event really because it is uh, blocking in some contexts so if you use client dot event for on messages it will not register uh, it will not catch the command prefix correctly unless you do a process commands in the end of it but we can just avoid this by using client.listen instead so here client.listen and we'll do on ready 
print logged in as client.user.name and we also want to make this an f string. Alright, so that's done now and we also want to create a command. Uh, we'll create a ping command. So to do that we'll do client.bridge command description. Here we'll put the command description that will be visible when you use it as a slash command. We'll put ping pong or something like that. And it will be named ping. Then we want to pass the context. Every time you create a command you want to put ctx with, which uh, stands for context in there. And from that we can get all the context from how the command was r uh, ran, who ran it and everything. But now for the little more advanced stuff we want to get the latency. Latency will be equal to, we'll do that, string client dot latency. We're getting the latency. Then we want to split this by a dot. Just like that. And in here, put a 1. And here, 1, 3. So that's how we'll get the latency. Then we want to respond to the command using ctx.respond. It responds to the command that way. We want to make it an f string. Put pong. Bot replied in latency milliseconds. Also down here, we want to put we want to define a new method main bot. This will define how the bot will run and start. So we'll do a print bot is starting. It will first print that the bot is starting, and then await client or start this will start the bot and um, uh, we want to pass the token in here so that will be ultim uh, no it'll be pycode bot dot token so we define this variable token inside a pycode bot so we want to get that now and run the bot from it and down here we'll t we will want to do if name equals main like that then we want to do loop equals async you dot get event loop this will get the current event loop from async you I'll explain later what it does we want to run this loop until complete and we want to do loop dot run until complete and we want to start this main bot loop. <coughs> so we'll do async you dot gather. Which will gather this and start it basically. Main bot. And now it uh, could be it is a bit complicated, but it <coughs> it will be better than just doing it the easy way. Now we want to create a new file that will be called dot env. Just dot env. And then we we'll want to go to the Discord developer portal. So I'll bring the screen over here. You'll want to go to the Discord developer portal. And we'll you want to go to applications and click new application. We'll name this PyCord full bot for now. And I ha will just put it there for me. You can put it under personal if you want. So now it has created a bot for us. So if we go to bot here, we want to click reset token. We want to reset this token because otherwise we can't really start it because we won't be able to see the token anyways in that case. Yes, do it. And I'll need my authentication code. I'll just put it right here. And there we go. That's the token. You want to click copy and then go back to dot and file and define the variable discord token which will load in the main file so I want to put just it just like that so that wasn't saved and there we go the bot should run now if we did this correctly uh, so what we want to do now 
is open up a terminal, a new terminal, and you'll want to do this. You'll want to use the command. Uh, for me, it's pym, but for you, it might be pip or anything, just depending on uh, how you install Python. So if one doesn't work, try the other. We want to do pym pip. In, uh, pip r requirements.txt oh wait no my mistake we want to do pym pip install r requirements.txt so now it will install all the packages listed in the requirements.txt file now once we have done that we can basically run the bot we'll do for me pym main.py all right so it seems like that didn't work we we'll want to do just like this instead that's uh my mistake we want to not have that as function we want to remove those brackets so it's intense just like that then we want to start it pym main.py all right pym main uh hmm what could that be? maybe we'll do a wait no async dev main but huh this uh, hasn't been an issue before. What's new? A cro coroutine and a bit awaitable. Main bot. Ah, okay. We forgot some brackets there. We need to put brackets after main bot. Two brackets. Just like that. And now, pi m main. But it's starting. Something clearly didn't work here. And that's because we need privilege gateway intents. So in here, the Discord developer portal, we want to enable all of these. Because otherwise it won't work. We want to enable all of these privilege gateway intents. And now it should work properly. <coughs> so we'll do pi and main. Bot is starting. And it should appear. There we go. Logged in as pi code full bot. Now... We want to actually add this bot to our server. So we're opening up this code developer portal. Going to OAuth2. Go to URL generator. And you want to click bot and applications.commands. This is required for the slash commands to work. And I'll just give it administrator for now. But these are the permissions you will give your bot. Click copy. And then you can open up this up. And here you can add it to your server. I'll add it to my server. Authorize. Yes, I'm a human. There we go. Now, what we want to do is open up the server. I have it right here. So the bot has joined the server. And we can just do, if we do that, here we have PyCode full bot and we have the ping command. And the bot replied in 22 milliseconds. We can also try to do ping like this. And it replies like that. So this is the first part of the full uh, PyCore Discord bot tutorial. We'll create a full bot. Advertising also. Monetization of the bot. And everything you'll need. Cogs. Uh, moderation. Everything. So the next video will most likely come out tomorrow. Or later today. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.